Hi everybody. Hope everybody is fine, doing good, and enjoying the lectures. We're back for the second session on uh, morphology. In the previous uh, week, we finished the topic of roots, right? And I hope uh, you, prior to watching these uh, videos, you will have solved the DCT, the test on roots also. Today we will talk about the second topic in the chapter, which is STEM, right? Last time we took an introductory uh, session also in which we talked about the classification of plants and the other topics. So no need for that today and we can directly, you know, uh, jump into our topic of STEM, right? Let me share my screen uh, with you all first. Uh, Okay, so there's, uh, I hope you can see that screen right now. Okay, fine, let's start. Now, the second topic, which is STEM. Now, as we spoke last time, that an angiosperm has two parts, a uh, reproductive and the vegetative. Right, Apna discussion right now is going on uh, vegetative, right? So vegetative may we have root, stem and leaf. Last time we said vegetative are those parts which do not reproduce, right? And if they, then that reproduction would be called as vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation, right? So today our topic is stem. Right. Okay. So the aerial part of the plant body, right? Uh, give me a minute. I'll just change. Uh, oh. Sorry. So sorry for that. Right. I'm just not getting the proper laser. Okay. The aerial part of the plant body is collectively called a shoot system. Last time we clarified that okay, whatever is below the soil is called as the root system. Whatever is above is called as the shoot system. The main axis of the shoot system is called stem. Right. So the main axis, the central axis of the shoot is called a stem. Stem can be defined as the ascending part of the plant axis which develops from the plumule. We did talk about the embryo axis, the tigellum last time. right? We pointed out the three areas on the embryo axis, the plumule, the radical and the first node. So the root develops from the radical and the stem right now develops from the plumule. It is usually negatively hydrotropic, ekdam root ke opposite ho jayega, negatively geotropic away from the earth and positively phototropic towards the light. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, this diagram, right? This does show a structure of the stem. Yes, stem. Can you see stem? Yes, central axis hai. Right. It bears a terminal bud. Can you see this bud, everybody? A pikel present at the terminal. Right now, this bud is called as the apical bud, also called as the terminal bud. And axillary bud in the axil of leaf. Now, what's an axil? Right. Now, look at the leaf a little closely. Look at the stem and the leaf a little closely. Right now. So if this is the stem, this is the leaf. Does the stem and leaf make an angle with each other? This angle is known as axil. So ye jo angle aapko dikh hai, pe dekho, can you see this angle, this angle, right? This angle. So angle made by the leaf with the stem is called as an axil. And the bud, can you see this bud now? The bud within the axil is called as an axillary bud. So Two main types of buds are terminal bud and axillary bud for the purpose of growth. Differentiated into nodes and internodes. 
सो द पॉइंट ऑन द स्टेम फ्रॉम वेयर द लीफ इज अराइजिंग इज कॉल्ड एज द नोड देखो ये नोड राइट एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू सक्सेसिव नोड माइंड यू प्लीज नॉट टू नोड तो बोलेंगे लास्ट नोड और फर्स्ट नोड के बीच में पूरा ओनली वन इंटर नोड नो बिटवीन टू सक्सेसिव नोड दैट डिस्टेंस इज नोन एज एन इंटर नोड राइट हाईलाइटेड या देखो प्लीज एट द नोड इट प्रोड्यूस डिसमिलर ऑर्गन डिसमिलर ऑर्गन लाइक leaves and flowers right roots mein kya tha it was producing only similar organs right now primary se secondary secondary se tertiary all were similar to each other but yahan se stem mein se aayega leaf right now flower those are dissimilar but a branch would be similar so a stem will produce both similar structures as well as dissimilar structures and all of them it will produce exogenously originating from the outer tissues of the stem not from the inner tissues young stem is green and capable of performing photosynthesis right now so when the stem is young it is green till the leaves do not uh, come out till no the autotrophic nature is not developed the stem will be the one which will shoulder the responsibility of doing photosynthesis right now i hope everybody is following this please ha huh? right please so these are the characteristics of a stem now we did discuss about buds thoda sa uska detail right now buds are of two types we've got vegetative buds and floral buds floral buds obviously will develop into flowers flowers will do reproduction right or vegetative may we have four types of buds those which are located at the apex are apical we also call them as terminal buds right now ye dekho apical or terminal right now i've got a simple diagram for you also ye floral bud hai look at this apical bud and can you see all these axillary buds now can you see the axil dekho axil bhi mark kiya hai dekho yahan pe the angle made between the leaf and the stem right i hope you can see this pointer also this angle is called as an axil right so apical bud axillary bud to aaram se apne ko samajh mein aa gaya now there are something called as accessory buds also if the bud is located on the side or above yani axil ke aas pass not in the axil but somewhere near the axil then that is called as an accessory bud and the fourth one is called as an adventitious bud right if the bud is located at any area other than node other than stem that bud is an adventitious bud right now so now tell me if you have a bud on the root and that bud develops into a new plant root vegetative propagation kar sakta hai isn't it लेकिन उसको ग्रोथ के लिए एक बर्ड चाहिए बराबर और वो बर्ड कौन सा होगा इट विल बी एन एडवेंटिशियस बर्ड गेरिंग दिस पीस इफ अ द लीफ इज डेवलपिंग अ न्यू प्लांट इट हैज टू बी फ्रॉम अ बर्ड एंड दैट बर्ड विल बी एडवेंटिशियस बर्ड राइट ना सो अगर स्टेम को छोड़ के एक्सल को छोड़ के राइट ना बर्ड कहीं भी है इट कॉज कॉल एस एडवेंटिशियस Remember the definition of adventitious root. We have seen what was it? If the root is developing from any other part other than radical, what do we call it? We call it adventitious. Node means it comes from the lower node. Means it comes from right now. Leaf means the root comes from. Where is the root? The branch means the root comes from. Right now, we see prop roots, banana tree. The branches means the root comes from. Right now, where is it? We call it adventitious. So, if the bud is developing from an area other than the axil, then it is called as an adventitious bud. clear please everybody understanding properly pakka okay now stem again has two types of functions we got primary functions and secondary functions primary basic performed by all the types of stem produce and support lateral appendages appendages anybody what is appendage right appendage 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 anything which comes from the main body is called as an appendage 
right now see I, I, whenever such you know terms come i'll try to clarify the terms and then move ahead huh? please i don't want any uh, doubts uh, to be remaining you know so what's an appendage appendage is a structure developing from the main body right for example do you right uh, our body right now our human body is made up of four parts head neck thorax abdomen yahi char parts hai from the thorax the upper limbs attached to the abdomen are the lower limbs so are the upper limbs and lower limbs coming out from the main body yes so they are appendages sometimes limbs are also known as appendages clear please so stem may say what is the function of stem to produce and support lateral appendages such as branch leaves flowers fruits now ki all are coming from the stem so स्टेम में से निकलने वाले जो भी स्ट्रक्चर्स रहेंगे दे आर अपेंडेजेस राइट कंडक्शन ऑफ वाटर एंड मिनरल्स ऑब्वियसली स्टेम में से जाइलम फ्लोएम विल कंडक्ट वाटर एंड मिनरल्स टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द शूट एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट फूड टू ऑल द प्लांट पार्ट्स राइट ना क्लियर सो दिस इज द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ अ स्टेम व्हिच एवरी स्टेम हैज टू डू बट राइट ना देयर आर सम सेकेंडरी फंक्शन जस्ट एज इन केस ऑफ रूट्स वी सॉ राइट ना अभी देखो फॉर्मेट समझ में आ गया डिस्कशन का अपना the way we had modifications of roots the same we have modification of stem right now so what are the modifications of the stem the stem may get modified to perform additional functions such as storage of food and water mind you storage of food and water is not a primary function conduction of food and water is there conduction वॉटर इज ऑलवेज इन स्टेट ऑफ मूवमेंट वॉटर कहीं स्टोर वोर नहीं होता है वॉटर इज ऑलवेज इन स्टेट ऑफ मूवमेंट रूट उसको एब्सॉर्ब करता है स्टेम उसको कंडक्ट करता है ऊपर लेके जाएगा स्टेम राइट ना लीफ को देगा लीफ उसको फोटोसिंथेसिस करेगा फोटोसिंथेसिस वन ऑफ द रॉ मटीरियल रिक्वायर्ड इज वॉटर राइट ना एंड देन जो बच गया वॉटर उसको ट्रांसपेरेशन से छोड़ देगा सो वॉटर का मूवमेंट हमेशा चलता रहेगा दर एंटायर चैप्टर डेडिकेटेड ऑन ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ वॉटर right now how water moves in the entire system but in some cases it may be modified to store water store food we will see those modifications also proliferation and propagation matlab kya reproduction so stem may be involved in vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction procuring support for climbing if the stem is weak then it may need to give out additional structures so that it can hold on to something the plant can stand right na so climbing ke liye koi structure dena perenation right na to tide over unfavorable condition to tide over unfavorable conditions whenever conditions are not favorable right na the stem might go underground and till the conditions don't become favorable there is no activity right so this you know uh, remaining dormant right now kuch bhi nahi karna till the conditions become favorable this property is called as perenation and this is shown by underground stem we'll talk about in the next video and lastly synthesis of food photosynthesis mind you photosynthesis is not the function of a stem the stem is brown only the young stem is green but here we see that if the need arises the stem can do photosynthesis also right now mind you all of these modifications are going to come in the uh, next couple of videos right now so what have we discussed in the right the introduction to stem we have what are characteristics of stem we said right now what are the types of buds vegetative and floral buds and we saw functions of stem clear please everybody right so what we are now going to talk about in the next video are what are the types of stem and what are their modifications right okay so i'll see you in the next video thank you